So yeah, we're going to leave the video here. We're off tomorrow to our next destination, which is, on the way we're going to go to Stonehaven Harbour. Hopefully we can park the van in the harbour and go and explore around Stonehaven before we head up to our next destination, uh, which is Bancori, just to the left of Aberdeen, uh, near to, what's Queen's House called? Uh, Balmoral. Balmoral, yeah, not too far from Balmoral. And we're hopefully going to be visiting a castle as well. Not Balmoral. Not Balmoral. Not, Balmoral. not this Sadly. time. The Queen's in, she won't let us in. We don't know her personally, so... <laughs> We're gonna go anyway. I'll give it a try. We're just arriving to our next destination, which is uh, Bancori, which is just to the right of Braemar and Balata, halfway between Aberdeen and Balmoral, I think, roughly. Um, we're hoping to walk back here tomorrow. We're going to go to the castle, aren't we? We are. There's a castle just back up there, and we couldn't see a footpath. It looks like there's a path down the side of the um, railway. There's a railway, I guess it's a historic railway. It looks like you can walk all the way along the side. Uh, which will take us right to the castle, so that looks lovely. So we'll try that. Right, let's look out for the signpost for the uh, campsite. What's that say there? Oh, this Tesco's. Bankery, not Bankory. Bankery? Maybe Bankery, right? Bankery. Yeah, Bankery sounds more. Thank you, Siri. Sounds more Scottish. I thought it was a Scottish lady and I said Bankery and then I thought I said it wrong and she said Bankery too. So okay. And she was just humouring me, or oh, that is how we say it. I won't say Bankory then, I'll say Bankery. Bankory. Bankery. <laughs> you just like things like Balmory. <laughs> Lots of these. So I put the postcode in and it says Unnamed Road, so it says it's here somewhere. Look out for a signpost. Yeah, there, there we go, the left. Excellent. Good signposting. We didn't have to do the unusual emergency stop and no handbrake turn stop, to no. get in. Sightful. Sorry, sightful. At least it's sorry, no pets. Excellent. Then. Right, so we have just arrived in Bankery, the Cabernet Mohem Club, like Silver Bank it's called. It's beautiful, really well laid out. Um, these are the pitches, nicely separated by hedges and really, really good. Uh, that's the motorhome point there. Uh, we've just arrived, it's absolutely gorgeous. Molly's in the shade and Caroline is having a sunbathe. Caroline's solar powered. Hey? I'm getting my vitamin D. <laughs> Actually solar powered. Yeah, she is solar powered, definitely. And she has a cider. <gasps> Don't judge. It's only lunchtime, I'm on holidays. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to grab a beer. But yeah, it's beautiful, really nice pitch, sheltered by trees behind it. So we're going to go and explore Bankery um, and tomorrow we're going to visit the castle which is a little three, three mile walk alongside a railway line which is a heritage railway line which only runs on a Sunday unfortunately we've arrived on a Monday mm. so it's not available I'm afraid sorry yeah. about that it's I know okay. you wanted to go that's all right it's just when you come for a couple of days there's so many things you want to try and squash in yeah but it's fine castle will be good okay cool we're gonna probably have a barbecue this afternoon because um, it's a nice day and just take it easy and chill out before we walk tomorrow. So we'll turn off the camera for now and we'll catch you later on. Very impressed so far. D side kilts, we've just arrived in Bankery, or we just walked down to the town. There's a kilt shop, very, very traditional Scottish, very royal D side. Very royal. And yeah, this is the high street. I don't see the queen in the car I'm going <laughs> What? I don't see the Queen in the co-op, I'm going home. Yeah. yeah, so... This looks like the high street. We'll have a wander down and see what we can find. We're looking for a butcher's for a barbecue, as usual. Uh, always looking for food. We've managed to find a chip shop. Oh no, we haven't really. Found a baker's. That sells chips. That sells chips. Uh-huh. I'm always uh, eating the chips off the floor, but dogs are welcome. 
in there and yeah, G, GJ Ross, that's what it's called. Dogs welcome, chips, and I've got a sausage roll. Very happy, this butcher's by royal appointment. They have uh, Aberdeen Angus beef, all local beef, mature for 21 days. So I've got some of that to try on the barbecue. Very excited, aren't we Molly? Molly's birthday barbecue. <laughs> right, let's find some local beer, then we can head back over barbecue. And any more vegetarian food you need, obviously, sorry. Obviously, yeah, just yeah. get that in there. So just down south of Bankery High Street, there is a, like a park and there's a cool outdoor shop just over there. Got some really good stuff, all high-end stuff. Um, got a sale on, but unfortunately didn't have my size in the jacket I wanted, so uh, I didn't manage to replace my £12 jacket yet. But a lovely park as well, with a skate park and uh, lots of children's play things. We're going to walk back through there and then just pick up some last supplies from Morrison's. Couldn't find any local beer in the local co-ops. We tried both of them, so we'll try Morrison's. They do local beer as well, and then we'll go from there. But now you can park motorhomes here as well, um, and it looks pretty reasonable. You can see uh, motorhomes there. If you want to park in Bankery and don't want to actually stay here, it's a pound for two hours, or five pound for nine hours. Don't think you can park every night. Might be wrong. Didn't read the sign. Anyway, very good. So we're back from Bankery. Mm, really lovely place, as you will have seen. Um, oh, you bent your head on the top. Have I? Yeah, just there. I can feel my face. Yeah. Up. I need some moisture. Just noticed it on in the camera. Oh God, uh, I don't like a beetroot. No, no, about, okay. about well tomorrow. It's only just the top of your head. Is just it? The top, yeah. Oh. Just there. Anyway, sorry. Thanks. <laughs> um, wine. Oh, okay. From a beaker. <laughs> Posh. And what are you having for your tea tonight? Um, I've got a really nice um, rosemary and sea salt for catcher that I got on the way up from the farm shop, Tea Bay Services, nice. the farm shop there. I'm going to have that. I'm going to get you to toast it for me a little bit on the barbecue. Okay. I've just got some nice hummus. i um, also got some veggie sausages and a couscous salad. Nice. Very some good vegetarian. For the vegetarians, barbecue. yeah. I've got steak. Nobody, you've always got steak. And steak burgers with a real ale chutney <laughs> from the Royal Bankery Butcher's Shop. Can't wait. By royal appointment, it was. Yeah, so we'll have that now. But the Queen wasn't in the co op. No. <laughs> no, no Morrisons. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been Aberdeenshire. I've managed to find loads of local beers. Morrisons was brilliant, loads of local produce because uh, the shops didn't have any. So, first one, obviously, being in Aberdeenshire, Brewdog. The home of Aberdeenshire. Brewdog is, that's where it's from. So, we're having Brewdog, which is Hazy Jane. Um, which I managed to get in the supermarket. Followed by uh, Hot Classic Belgian IPA Six North. This again is from a local beer from uh, it is from Lawrence Kirk AB30. So Ricky House Lawrence Kirk. Oh, that's quite nice. And obviously Kangon Wild Cat. Another one. I'm not going wild tonight. I've just got five beers. Um, so you're not drinking them all? No, can no, definitely not. Can we have this recorded yep. then, please? Can Please don't drink them all till I've had my tea. Wildcat, pure Scottish style. Interesting to try that one. And then two from the same brewery. Um, Brutun, um, which is Peterhead, which is just a bit further north than us, which is Loose Cannon, American IPA. And this one, half a pudding, Mango IPA. Mango Unchained. Looks really nice. So yeah, five beers in total. Looking forward to trying them all. Help. <laughs> Send help. How's your veggie burger? Epic. Good. Took me a lot of skill to cook that. Mm, you did well. My beef and ale chutney burgers from the Royal Butchers. Very excited. I got two. Not that I'm greedy. Molly's tied out. So our van has developed a very small fault, um, it's something that 
a lot of other owners have had before and they've done like a temporary fix to fix it I didn't do it as a preventative measure I wanted to see how long it would last before it um, before it developed so basically if you look down here you'll see that the sink is kept up by magnetic clips there's one either side and the glue the glue f um, and this one has just basically failed so it's come off so that basically means that the sink is only one, one support so it's dropped down while we're driving so I'm going to do a very simple fix glue this back on using super glue and see how we get on and go from there um, but yeah I mean it's it's only a very minor thing but it's definitely a, a perhaps a, an area that a weak point that happens across most of the v-line vans some people fit you can see here onto the side they fit like a little catch so that basically folds over and stops it falling falling down while you're driving um, but I'm not going to do that I'm going to try and work back on to start with and see how we get on that one's still on so we'll go from there Good morning. Morning. We are in Bankery and we are just about to head off to go to visit Krathis. Krathis? Castle. Oh, something like that. Yeah, we had a good night last night at a barbecue, so we're just heading off. Um, but first we're going to Morrison's for breakfast. We thought, well, the Morrison's just down the road, they've got a cafe with takeaway. It's really so bright, I'm sorry. We're going to stuff our faces and eat in um, breakfast, then we're going to walk to the castle. There's a walkway like behind us, if you can see down there, there's like a, like a track like that. Yeah, this all is the way. just outside the front of the campsite. Yeah, if I turn the camera around, you'll be able to see the campsite. That's the entrance just there. Um, but there's a walkway all the way down the side of the uh, historic railway, which takes you from Bankery down to the castle. So you can walk along there with the dog, etc., off the road, off the main road. So we're going down there after we've got some breakfast. So we'll see you at the castle. So Morrison's Cafe, good. Take away breakfast, we'll see. Okay, what have we got? Big reveal. Oh, that was mine. <gasps> Excellent. Yes, Look at that for yours. a takeaway breakfast. I'm impressed. Where's the black pudding? I think it's under there. Okay, good. Well, they said English or Scottish breakfast, so I went for Scottish. Yeah, definitely. Look at that tub of beans. Nice. Oh, what have you got? got a tub of beans. Go have them if you want. Hey, get off! <laughs> You're not having the breakfast. <laughs> Toast. Toast. Right, you can have my beans. I don't want them to find. Take the potatoes gone as well. Let's eat. I don't know if you can see, but there's a man fly fishing in the in the River Dee. Just there. Yeah. Proper Scottish fly fishing. <laughs> There is a heritage railway here as well. If you can see, there's a little cool car through the trees just there. It's like a car on wheels um, that you drive. Can't quite see it from there. Might be able to see it better from here. Little car and then an engine and a platform. But the line only runs, it's a mile long, but it only runs on a Sunday uh, in the summer. So unfortunately, we're not here. Morning. We're not here on a Sunday. But it's a lovely route, this, isn't it? Walking along, it's a multi-purpose pathway that goes all the way alongside the river. The river, and you can go from where we were. There's lots of fishermen, and then the railway line as well. That'd be great to come back and do in the summer. Uh, sorry, on a Sunday. Sorry, I think we're too far away on all the Sundays we're at now. But yeah. uh, we'll see. Yeah, well, that's the point of just going to a couple of, you know, for a couple of days, isn't it? You find all the things that you want to come back to and visit for longer. Yeah. And that's the front of the train, the engine. I think it's only a mile long the track, but it goes all the way along to the castle where we're going to now. So it must be another mile. That's not too far, is it? No. Oh, great little uh, train line. It's closed, isn't it? Everything's closed. Very disappointed because you really made a way. The website said it was open, but there's a sign saying it's closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Which is so a bit disappointing. Yeah, we weren't going to go in the castle anyway because of Molly. You can't go in the castle, but we're going to have wandered around and probably have yeah, just go in the cafe, had something to eat cafe, and gift shop and later. stuff. Yeah. But, well, yeah, not sure why it's shut on a Tuesday and Wednesday, but it's closed. So, oh well, we've only walked four miles to get here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and find some of the things to do. It does look very nice if you want to come here. Uh, very pretty castle. And there's loads of walks you can do from the castle. Um, all different coloured trails which tell you different times which looks really good oops I might have read that backwards I married that Monday to Thursday don't tell Caroline she's in a rage she's going to find a toilet oh dear so are you all refreshed now <laughs> found the emergency toilet okay good work <laughs> it's important these things so where are we going so we are here yep we're going to follow this blue trail just to here and then come back that's the road that's that we there. came in on so we came in here yeah and then walked basically the 
the yeah. blue route to get here. So we're going to walk the rest of the blue route back to the start. Very nice, okay. Let's head back and we're going to that cafe down the bottom, shall we? Have yeah, something to eat in the nice shops. Drink. Perfect, let's go. Your favourite. Oh, they're such lovely cows. Can we Molly's? get one as a pet? Uh, no. I'm not sure Molly's that impressed. Lovely, aren't they? Lovely. Staring at Molly. I know. I don't know how we can see through that fringe. It's like you. I know, yeah, as I said, it looks like me before I had my hair cut. Similar colour. <laughs> Why do you like them so much? I don't know. Just like them. They're just like cute looking cows, aren't they? Yeah. We spotted them on the other side of the walk, we had to come and find them. How are you? Just munching away. Can you hear it? Oh. <laughs> what do you think of the Molly? <laughs> That's not a real one that you're staring at there. That's a fake one. Yep. Okay, you went there good, very good. It's not real. Look. It's not real. No. <laughs> she thinks it's real. It's fine. Oh shit, this way, here. <laughs> this way. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Really nice. It's peaceful to be around. <laughs> Hopefully you can see on the camera, but if you'll scroll down, oh sorry, move the camera down, picture perfect reflection of the trees in the water. It's absolutely beautiful. So we've stopped for lunch at I can't quite remember. We don't know where we are. Taking the menu. Yeah. So I uh, stopped just, just at the bottom of the castle driveway, back on the trail, so we're just gonna have a Caesar salad. Me. <clears throat> and Molly's under the table. <laughs> That's the noise. Is. Yeah, you can see her some under there. There she is. <laughs> yeah, the table's moving on its own, so we're just gonna have some lunch then head off. So, part of our trip, we're taking in an area of the North Coast 500. So, I've been reading reports in the paper recently, it's been flying up saying that locals are getting fed up of camper vans, hire vans, turning up and parking in, in uh, passing places and laybys, leaving rubbish and waste everywhere, and they're completely fed up of it. There's a bit of a backlash, and I think Perth Camper Van Hire have actually put on their website that you shouldn't. Um, go on the North Coast 500, they've had some of their tyres slashed, egg, eggs thrown at the vehicles and yoghurt thrown over them, which is um, not good. And you can understand why the locals will be frustrated. Obviously good for the local economy, but if it's not being treated in the right way, then it's no good for anybody. So um, just one of the little things we're going to do to try and show that we are good camper van tourists and we are not going to spoil the local environment. Going to fit some stickers to the number plate. 
just the Scotland flag to show that we are in unison with Scotland. Um, these were actually ordered them from Amazon. If you've got Amazon Prime, it's a really useful feature. You can have parcels delivered pretty much to anywhere to collection points. So we ordered these ahead the day before yesterday when we read the news article to the co-op in Bankery, um, which was just a couple of minutes walk away. So they were delivered yesterday. We called in and picked them up, bought something from the local co-op as well. Good for the economy. And then got them delivered there, ready for us. So you just have to take an ID with you, so driving license or whatever, and you can pick them up or a scan code on your, on your phone. So I'm going to fit these to the number plate on the van. Um, but first of all, I need to clean the van number plate because it's got some sticky stuff on the rear one. So I'll show you how I do that as well. So I'm going to fit the stickers over these GB stickers on my number plate. The GB stickers are completely pointless now. They're not legal. You can't use them anymore. Um, you can't go abroad with them. You have to have a white GB sticker on your vehicle. So I'm going to put these over them. It's not quite big enough. I ordered them off Amazon, measured it. It's not quite big enough. But I'm going to put them on anyway and cover up the GB, the GB logo. Hopefully it won't be far off. As you can, if you can see on the number plate there, there's just a few more finger is, it's got sticky all over it. So I'm going to clean that off first. Something that's really good for doing that, and everyone's got now because of COVID, is hand sanitizer. This is san hand sanitizer, it's quite a good liquid one. Literally, just pump it onto a piece of kitchen towel and then rub it on. You can see the number plate, you can see as I'm doing it. Literally, we'll just remove that sticky from the number plate. You might have to give it a bit of a scrub. But let me show you on the yellow bit, you can see there, hopefully. See there? Coming a bit closer. See the number plate? Literally just give that a rub with that. It's coming off straight away. If you try and just take it off with your hand, it wouldn't work. So I'm just going to clean this up, then I'm going to stick them on, and we'll go from there. <laughs> Dunno. It doesn't quite fit, but from this distance, hopefully you can't tell. It just gives the vehicle a bit of a different look and finish and more local. If you don't like it, I can peel it off. Nothing lost. So I'm very pleased to confirm that the sink fix worked. The super glue on the sink, uh, or we super glued this back on earlier, has worked. It's stuck immediately, like literally as soon as I put it on. We left it for a couple of hours, came back, and then the sink works perfectly. Shuts again, stays up both sides. Perfectly working. So we'll see how long the super glue fix works. Um, and if it carry, if it works really well, then fantastic. If it doesn't, I'll look at another solution. But very happy with that now. Back to normal. So we had a bit of an issue with the beer, didn't we? Well, you did. Yeah. I'm happy with it. The nice beer I got last night, the Brutoon Mango and Cheney, the one. I was about to drink them and then realised that the on the back, which I've never seen on a beer before, you can see it says, what is it? Oh. Produced in a facility that processes nuts. I have a nut allergy. Quite a bad one. Mm. Um, so Caroline has very... Taking one for the team. ...kindly helped me out <laughs> and she's drinking my beers. Um, she doesn't normally drink beer, but that one's I'm mango really, flavour. Yeah, I'm not a fan of beer, but this is really nice actually, really fruity. Good. Tastes... What would you rate it out of 10? Ooh, I don't know actually, because I don't really rate. Um, uh, <laughs> Oh, just give me a number. I'm going to say, I'm going to go an eight. Perfect, that's very good. Good rating. Thanks very much. For a non-beer drinker, I'm, I'm quite happy to try and finish this. Yeah. So, good morning. We are just heading off, leaving this site, which is Bankery. Caravan my own club site. It's a beautiful site, really nicely located for exploring. Very well kept. We are just heading over to drop our water before we go. So, we'll give you a quick tour via the van. One-way system, it's like figure eight or two loops uh, um, yeah. we were in pitch number five which is really nice give us a good bit of sun and there's a uh, all brand new electrics on this site it's got the latest ones with the circuit breakers on and then this is no term service point there's just one um, sort of uh, on the site which is what you expect just make sure you get it over the right area that's it done so I'll unload the water and then we'll head off so what do you think of this site then uh, nice, Probably. very, very nice. Really good dog walking area. Oh yeah, it's a good dog walk at the bottom. Down that there? end, um, all enclosed so you can let them off. Um, only negative would be there's a little bit of road noise, but that might just be because we're in the pop top above the trees. Um, <clears throat> otherwise really good, really clean, tidy as usual. Um, yeah, yeah, can't fault it. Okay, so that's just the toilet block just there. There, showers etc chemical toilet point and then dog walkers Caroline said is right down the bottom and past those caravans at the top and the reception's just here on the right you probably saw that when we drive in and then the motor and service point straining the water and that was our pitch there number five
So yeah, very nice site. We'll definitely uh, return here. Good base for exploring. Bankery, Braemar, Balanta, Aberdeen, the Queen's House, Balmoral. Let's head off to our next destination. Where is that? Culloden. Culloden. First stop on today's tour, we're looking for some standing stones, some proper ones, um, which is supposed to be here somewhere, signposted, at the car park just off the main road. That's well cool, there's a little kiddie's play fort there, a uh, scout hut, and then, oh wow, the stains, stones, let's go and explore. This is where we are, lone head of Daviot, recumbent stone circle. Uh, very, very old. Yes, very old. Very old, isn't it? Very old, nearly as old as me. <laughs> Get there first. There we go. It. Very impressive. This is more. This is proper standing stones, isn't it? This is not like them little piddly ones you found in the garden <laughs> on a previous video. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's mini Stonehenge, Neolithic stones. I think that's the right word. Wow. There's no wind here at all either. It's completely sheltered by the trees. That's crazy. It was so windy down by the van. I haven't brought the drone because it was so windy. She's found something to roll in, as always. It's impressed with it. Go and stand next to that stone. Better See how big it is. Stinky, Molly. Yeah. Oh, you're not coming back in the van. So these are proper, aren't they? Look. Yeah. These are tall stones. That's as big as your head. Not bigger than your head, isn't it? Um, I mean, if these have been here for four or five thousand years, do you think yeah. they've, they've been much bigger and they've um, eroded? Don't know. Potentially. Good question. Thank you. You can tell me the answer. So we finally found some standing stones, very happy, uh, and we managed to get the drone up, it wasn't too windy up here. A uh, really nice, beautiful location, really quite weird. After we arrived, obviously it was quiet. <laughs> yeah, we've been peace, peaceful till the Browns and their dog turn up. Yeah, so we're gonna head off now to our next station. We're doing a bit of a tour today uh, before we go to the campsite at the end. We're doing, visiting lots of different places in the area and just stopping and having a look around, etc. So we're gonna head off now and do some more visiting. Okay. Molly's hiding. We've had a slight incident. We made an error, didn't we? Oops. Bit of a boo-boo. Oh! <laughs> you crashed into my leg. You weren't looking. <laughs>